Hi everyone. So I'm here to tell you all you got to keep in mind for your chemistry paper ones. So just the few days left before the exams, what you want to be doing is practicing, practicing, practicing. Practice as many paper one past papers as you can. The chem paper one paper pattern has changed this year or last year, mind you. There's no more section B anymore. There's only section A. So from older papers, my suggestion is only pra practice the first 30 MCQs. Don't look at section B MCQs. Yes, if you have time, you can practice them. Then they still cover the same chemistry. You won't be asked too many of those questions, right? So it's all based on the four choices A, B, C, and D. So you got to get your practice going for you. Remember, there's a lot of calculation. The, the paper covers the breadth of the whole syllabus. That's why I love the paper because it doesn't leave out any chapter. It covers the breadth. So I suggest this is how you guys attempt your paper in the exam. Try it for a few practice papers also. Start from question number 21 to 41st. Get organic out of the way and get some inorganic chemistry out of the way. That'll cover that up. Then you go back to question number one because there's more calculation in the first half of the paper than there are in the second half. And in organic chemistry, if there are any isomer questions that they want you to count isomers, they take longer. So maybe you want to do that part, that, that question later. In that case, skip to the next one. But always keep a track of the ones that you're answering. Always check the question you're answering and the question you're filling out on the answer sheet. There should be no mismatch. Sometimes I've seen kids miss out a question and then every other answer is of the previous question in the exam paper and the order gets messed up. So don't do that. Keep a wary of that. But my suggestion is start the paper at the halfway mark, 21 to 41st, and then go back to 1 to 20. There are more difficult questions in the first half of the paper. Generally for students, they take longer also to solve. More physical chemistry is and the in the first 15 questions. So leave them for the end if can, because even if they're easy, they take some time. They're not instantaneous. Inorganic chemistry is the instantaneous one. That starts from the middle of the paper. And for most of my students, they find organic easy. So you want to do that also out of the way first. The reason I'm saying is save yourself the time. If you're going to spend time doing the longer questions first, you're going to be rushed for the other questions. So my suggestion, half the paper first, knock it off, then start the first half later. And then if you come across a very long question that you can get in the first minute or so, if you can't figure out what to do, skip it, go to the next one. One way to skipping it, this is what I do, is I mark the question I've skipped in the answer script, and I still guess one answer. So it is, even if I never come back to that, there is one in 20, one in four chance of getting the question right, or 25% chance. So, and then I come back, solve the question, erase the wrong answer, uh, write the right answer. And so these are some of the tips that I want you to follow. Practice, practice, practice. Do the second half first. Remember, there is no separate data booklet. Everything is given at the back of the question paper. You can write all over the question paper to solve it. Write as much as you need to for diagrams, for molecules, for structure formulae, for calculations. Fill the question paper out. It's your question paper. Anyways, good luck for your camp paper one. And I hope this goes well for you. And most of your grade depends on this paper now for, for those of you in Pakistan. So focus and good luck. I hope to see you guys again. Mm -hmm.